Good morning, Card Muni's RJ back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. I have here one of the box set cards of Mr. Schmidt. This is the 1986 Baseball's Best Sluggers and Pitchers, uh, the 44 card set of Fleer. So that's Mike's card of it within it. And just do a quick thumb through of all the players that you could find in this set. Uh, one of the many box sets I have. You know how much I love my box sets. I have a whole bunch of them. Got, these are alphabetical, so Bly Levin, Boggs. Can we go through real quick? Brett, Tom Browning was a best pitcher back in 86, if you can believe it. Canseco, Will Clark, Clemens, Alvin Davis, Julio Franco, Kirk Gibson, Dwight Gooden, Gossage, Pedro Guerrera, Ron Guidry, Tony Gwynn, Earl Hershiser, Kent Herbeck, Reggie, Wally Joyner was a star rookie at the time, Charlie Liebrandt, Don Mattingly, Willie McGee, Jack Morris, Dale Murphy, Eddie Murray, Jeff Reardon, Rick Russell, Cal Ripken, Pete Rose, Nolan Ryan, Brett Saberhagen, Ryan Sandberg, there's Mr. Schmidt, Tom Seaver, Bryn Smith, Mario Soto, Dave Steeb, Daryl Strawberry, Rick Sutcliffe, John Tudor, Fernando, Bobby Witt, Mike Witt, and Robin Yount, and the stickers. So that was the full run of baseball's best 1986 uh, Fleer box set and the stickers. I kind of cheated on the stickers. Those were 1987 stickers. I just wanted to throw them in so I had a complete box set in my collection of that. So there you have that. Real quick thing for you. Uh, today's random baseball item. Nice little mini card of Steve Carlton from Alan Ginter. Not a fan of Alan and Ginter simply because they have so many odd things included that aren't baseball related. That's just me. But I love my minis. And there's a nice one of Steve Carlton. You can see whatever the stats are in the back if you want to pause there. Today's trivia question. Uh... An interesting one that the answer is not going to be easy for you to provide simply because it's not a single, it's not a one word or one statement answer. You've got to give me an explanation. And to the best of your ability, this is what I'm asking. To the best of your ability, explain to me why the Pittsburgh Pirates are named the Pirates. Because if you think about it, they're not near any kind of coastline. You know, if you know where the ge geography of Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh is at the intersection of three rivers, but not an ocean or a cove or a bay where you'd expect to, to hear stories of pirates all the time. Yet they're called the pirates. So to the best of your ability, explain to me why the Pittsburgh pirates are called the pirates. And the prize for getting that in keeping with the uh, team, a nice Roberto Clemente card, who was a, obviously a long-time pirate. Uh, this is from the Upper Deck, um, decade of the 70s, set back in the day. I guess like, the, like 1995 or something like that. This is maybe even 2000, but uh, this is the Clemente card. Decade dateline from that set. That will be the prize. On the Sunday drawing, uh, if you're correct in telling me why the Pirates are called the Pirates. So, today what I want to show off is another box set from my collection. The All-Star Fan Fest from 1993. It was a 54-card set. You can see there the name of the people who were in it. And I think a lot of the... the it's, uh, when we get to the Hall of Famers in the end, I think these guys are the, were the ones who were signing at the Fan Fest, so that's why they made it into the set and others didn't. Anyway, it starts off, these are all alphabetically, or I guess not all alphabetically, but it starts off with who were called the future heroes at the time, the stars. And it's interesting, some of the names that are in this set who were considered future stars at the time. Steve Avery was very highly touted. Yvonne Rodriguez made big, so did Jeff Bagwell. The Dino of Shields was incredibly fast, incredibly, you know, awesome, but didn't pan out. Uh, Royce Clayton, how many people even remember Royce Clayton, Robin Ventura, Phil Plantier, that was a name from the past, how did he end up in a future star set, people might think, Ray Langford, Juan Gonzalez, um, 
and then Frank Thomas were your future stars, okay? Uh, there's so 10 people were considered future stars, and then they had all-star heroes, so current stars of the game. Uh, Alomar, Alomar Jr., Sandy, his, his brother Sandy, Wade Boggs, Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonilla, George Brett, Jose Canseco, Will Clark, Roger Clemens, Eric Davis in his Dodgers uniform, Rob Dibble, one of the Nasty Boys, Cecil Fielder, Dwight Gooden Jr., nice little junior card if you're a fan, taping up his bat, I'd love to see that. Tony Gwynn sliding into base, never see, you don't think of Tony Gwynn as a base stealer, but there he goes sliding in third, I think. Brian Harvey, who was a great relief pitcher at the time. Ricky, I love this picture of Ricky kind of sitting there taking a picture. Howard Johnson, Wally Joyner, like I said, still an all-star rookie. Still hoping he would get back to his all-star rookie form, but there he is. Barry Larkin, Don Mattingly, Mark McGuire, Dale Murphy. Love the picture of Dale Murphy in his Phillies uniform. He was the Phillies for like two years at the end of his career. And he went on to, I think, the Rockies for one more try. Rafael Palmero, Kirby Puckett. These are kind of glossy and they kind of stick together a little bit. Cal. Uh, there we go. Nolan Ryan. Oh, Nolan Ryan in the in that perfect pose of Nolan Ryan before pitch. That's like so iconic right there. Chris Sabo. I uh, can't believe he's still <laughs> considered a star even then. Ryan Sandberg. Uh, Benito Santiago was a all-star catcher. Very highly thought of catcher at the time. Ruben Sierra, Ozzie Smith, Daryl Strawberry with the Blubble, Robin Yount. So those were your current stars who made it into that Fan Fest set. And then they had a few Hall of Famers. And again, I think these are just 10 Hall of Famers who were at the All-Star Fan Fest to sign. So they made it into this set. You had Raleigh Fingers, Reggie Jackson. Love seeing Reggie in the old style A's with the uh, yellow batting helmet. That's fantastic. Young looking Billy Williams, Lou Brock, Gaylord Perry, nice Ted Williams, Brooks Robinson, Bob Gibson, uh, Barry, Bobby Bonds, Barry's daddy, and then Robin Roberts. So that is the All Star Fan Fest set. Hope you guys enjoyed that little showcase. It's one of those many box sets that you can pick up for like a dollar if you're lucky. Certainly five dollars, certainly less than ten wherever you get it. Um, and it has some quality players, both stars, rookies, and Hall of Famers in it. So I highly recommend you find these types of sets whenever you can. That's just me. I love them. I hope you do. So um, uh, thanks for taking a moment out of your busy day to come and watch my video. Uh, don't forget the um, trivia question, you know, name for, try and explain to me, try and explain to me is a better way to say it. How did the Pirates get the nickname Pirates? And if you are successful in sending me the answer and then we, we do the uh, drawing on Sunday, you could win that Roberto Clemente card, which as I'm sitting here, I don't know where it ended up in front of me, but, but anyway, um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, all that jazz. Stop back again for another video. We'll do this again on Wednesday. Thanks a lot and take care.